Hello and welcome to episode seven of my green screen lockdown holiday extravaganza. And you couldn't really see when I was sitting down for my serious video, but I have quite deliberately worn my little crop top today. And there's a reason for that, which is that my multitudes of internet abusers have this thing where they occasionally sort of pick up on something which they think I might be paranoid about and keep making comments about it, obviously attempting to get in my head and bother me. And recently a group of them have decided that I am putting on weight during lockdown and they keep saying this, uh, presumably in the hope that I'm going to get stressed out about it. So I just thought I'd wear this because the, the truth is that I've got a lot of time on my hands and I've really been working out a lot. So like really literally nothing could be further from the truth. I am. I'm as rich as I've ever been, I would say, right now. Thanks for asking. And in honour of these fabulous abs, on my way round today, I will be explaining how lockdown is a lot like Ab Fab and some other classic British sitcoms. Well, this is a great place to come for a lovely hike, isn't it? Thanks for this, Ranjit. And don't you think that lockdown is a lot like Ab Fab in that there is a lot of arguing in the kitchen the only way to get through it is with alcohol and drugs. And it started off as what seemed like it was going to be a short sketch, but it turned into a series that basically didn't end. This is gorgeous, Per. Thank you for bringing me here. And don't you think that lockdown is a lot like Dad's army, in that food has to be strictly rationed? People keep telling us not to panic. And the leader is an incompetent, pompous idiot. Well, I don't think I've ever been to Chester Zoo before, so I was completely unaware that they would actually let you handle the animals, which uh, is a bit of a treat, isn't it? Also, don't you think that lockdown is a lot like porridge? In that we're all locked up regardless of whether we've done anything wrong. <laughs> Any kind of day out, even for the most boring of reasons, is an enormous treat. And by the end, loo roll may well have been used as a form of currency. Well, Pam, I genuinely don't know where Morecambe Haysham is, so I hope you're going to show me the way out of here after all this. Also, don't you think that lockdown is a lot like Only Fools and Horses in that everyone is looking for a side hustle as a way of making money? Cleaning your chandelier might seem like a good idea and Grandad might not make it to the end. Well, John, this is absolutely staggeringly beautiful. Thank you so much for introducing us all to this place. And don't you think that lockdown is a lot like Mrs Brown's boys in that it's not actually funny? I'll see you all next week, one way or another. Maybe in the park, who knows? Oh. Take care of yourselves.